The remains of a 37-year-old nurse of the Siwa Health Center has been interred after a solemn pre-burial service at the Kingdom Hall of the Jehovah Witness at Siwa. Scores of mourners converged to pay their last respects to the slain Ruth Ishen. Our correspondent Beatrice Piogabra was at the service and has come through with this report. <laughs> That fateful Tuesday, Ruth A. Shen was allegedly killed. A mother of three, her body was found with blood oozing from her nostrils and ears. The news of her alleged murder sparked public outrage. The Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association and other bodies demanded justice for her. At the Kingdom Hall of the Jehovah Witness congregation, her mother could not hide her tears. President of the Community Health Nurses Association, Esther Frimpoma Banfu, was emphatic on protection of healthcare workers. We need security. It is time they beef up security. We don't even have it at all. It has been happening, but on a silent note. You report and they say, we will do this. But at the end of the day, nothing is done. But I think this one, it is a wake-up call for our employers to stand up on their feet and do something about it. Otherwise, if we say we'll advise ourselves, not that we are doing something that will mar the work of the, our employers or the Ghana Health Service. But then, if I'll go to work and I'll not come back. National President of the Ghana Registered Nurse and Midwives Association Perpetual Ufurian Pofu wants justice for Ruth. It's happening in the past, but this particular one is so gruesome, and that is why we are asking that um, we need swift investigations into this matter. We want to understand the motive because for a nurse who is living in this community and offering services. For some unscrupulous people to do this to her, it's difficult for us to phantom. An elder of the Jehovah Witness in a brief sermon, in a brief sermon, encouraged the bereaved family to console themselves in the Lord. The Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, the Community Health Nurses Association, and allied associations announced a 10,000 Ghana City education fund for the children of the deceased. Ruth Eshen also left behind a husband. <laughs> 